it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and it is Friday, so that means it's time for another Mixed Media Mayhem. I absolutely love the inspiration layout um, that we are scrap lifting today. It is created by Natalie D'Souza, or DeSousa for the Vicky Booten design team. I'll pop that up in the corner so you can see it. So, um, if you watched my last video, I, or maybe it was Thursday's video, I was talking about printables and how I hadn't used printables in a long, long time until scrap a sketch And I mentioned these butterfly printables um, from, that I found online. It was on Pinterest. I mean, years ago, like probably 10 plus years ago. Um, and actually, these were shared from the original person. I don't remember whenever I first got them, but now they're on Pinterest. You can find them if you search butterfly printables. But these are gorgeous, and I love to cut them out and use them. These, of course, is not a good, um, a good save. They're a little bit blurry, but they're still usable. At least these are. I probably wouldn't use these. Um, but I just printed them off in different sizes. There's all different colors, um, and styles, but these are gorgeous. And these like remind me of what 49 and market is now, um, and simple stories like their style, but I love it. And you can get them in, di uh, print them in different colors, different sizes. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out. I just wanted to show y'all that's my little stack. Um, and like I said, they're really old. Um, so I cut a few of them out. I'm planning on using. I did a little test of my colors. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that one. But, so, I really was inspired by the colors in the inspiration layout. Like the, the, um, the light blues and then like the peach color. Um, oranges. You know, um, so I went digging through my pictures, and I think I might use some of this for my title. I don't know yet. Um, I've got some stencils out, and I got these pictures out. Um, they're bright, like bright, bright, bright. Um, so I am not going to do a really bright background. I'm going to go light like they did on the inspiration layout, because these pictures are the star of the show these are from my garden this past year and if y'all know me i do more cottage style english garden and i do not normally plant oranges or reds because as pretty as they are i don't like them i don't like orange it's not my favorite color <laughs> um even though i live in tennessee yes i know i'm not a vols fan um I'm actually an Alabama fan, but either way, um, orange is just not my favorite color, but last year I planted some mixed seeds, like mixed wildflowers and all that, and so I had a lot of oranges and yellows and reds and all that stuff come up in my flowers, so they were still gorgeous regardless. I had red zinnias. Um, and they were like a reddish orange. I had this orange zinnia, and then I had these, um, Cosmos, and I'm pretty sure these came from the, probably the Bright Lights mix, um, that I got from, like, Dollar General or something, but, um, I still love them. I really love these, but they're not my favorite because they're just, I don't know, I'm more of a neutral in pastels and pinks and purples, and that's, that's my jam. But I wanted to scrapbook these either way. So I decided I was going to try to just mix media the whole background. Add just these few butterflies as embellishments. I have not put this together. I have not practiced it or tried it. So we're doing it together. And y'all know I always say I'm not that great at mixed media. But I always try. So that's what matters, right? <laughs> okay. So I did pull out these two stencils. This one um, is a scrap of sketch stencil. This one is from Timu. Um, I recently got it. I haven't even used it, but I thought I could try a little 
little something with it anyways it's like stars i know it's probably hard to see them now i took a sheet of white cardstock and i did already gesso it because i knew i was gonna be heavy mixed media in this so i just used this liquid gesso um it's white that i got i got this off amazon like on the cheap like you know five or six bucks probably um so and it's lasted forever but pretty much i just put it down and um i have gave it a lot of time to dry so that it would dry all the way through so it don't buckle up you can see it did a little bit i sprayed it with a little bit of water and then i laid a paper pad on it to flatten it out again um and then it's just been drying it's probably been drying for like an hour i just did it and then i went off and did all the other things i needed to do before i could film so you can see little spots in it i don't know if you can see it good or not on the camera but this is what i'm working with and this is just um textured cardstock from walmart and i just put gesso on it so i'm going to use distress oxides today to play with i'm using salvage patina dried marigold and saltwater taffy so i think these will be pretty to go with those colors in the pictures but not be you know in your face because the pictures already are i also have my mixed media mat down here because i already know i'm gonna be using doing a lot of mixed media let me look just to make sure i'm keeping y'all in, in frame okay so i need some room on my mat over here to work i'm gonna start out with the blue and it's salvage patina i originally tried out a different one i think this one is um what is it called glass but it just didn't have enough blue once it had the water added to it and it was more of a gray so I thought even though this isn't the exact right shade of blue that I was going for um I'm going to go with this so I want to put down quite a bit because I want to do the brush strokes like they did on the inspiration piece so I need a lot of it and then I'm just going to take this big wide paintbrush so I can get good strokes hopefully. Like I said, I don't know. I have never did this before. <laughs> so give me a little bit of grace with it and hopefully it will inspire you to try it out also. Okay. It's not going on exactly like I thought. Maybe if I use a foam brush, but you know what? I'm going to be okay with this. It's still giving me my streaks that I wanted. Okay, but I am going to have to put more down. Because I don't have enough. I got bristles falling out of the paintbrush. Hey, that's definitely brighter. So, like I said, I'm just kind of following the inspiration piece. Why are you not going on that spot? <laughs> okay, I'm going to need some more. I want to do it a little bit darker at top and go on up to the top. It's fun sometimes just to play. You never know like what kind of result you're going to get with different materials. Um, you know, using the same same colors and all that, I would get a totally different look. Say if I used um, the packaging technique and just took some package and, and did it, it would look totally different. Add a little bit more water to what I got here. See if I can get a little bit more up right here. Alright. Like that pretty good. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera because I can't see, but hopefully it's looking good. 
Um, okay, so I, I just have paper towels nearby. I'm just going to wipe all this off so we can do a different color. And this tends to dry fairly quickly. Um, you can see a little bit other spots where... Um, let's see. Let's fan it for a minute. My next thing is I wanted to maybe do a little bit of stenciling um, using the same color, but do a little bit of stenciling on just to give it a little more depth. Um, I like the, the look of what they did. I want that one. I want to do this one. Um, so that it's small, a small pattern. And I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm just going to use one of my, my daubers here. We can do this while it finishes drying. Okay. So, I'm thinking I want to just do a little bit. Like, I'm going to go real light. I don't want to go crazy with it. But just a little something extra. My pictures will be covering up a lot of it. So. Uh-oh. Guess who just showed up in here? Oh, Pip. Probably jump up here in a minute. I left the door open thinking he was not not somewhere, but apparently he's up. I'm gonna run this off the page a little bit down there. Um, okay, I like it. I like it, y'all. Okay, let's add a little bit more here. And some of this will be covered up from. Um, I'm just going to rub a little bit right here on the edge. A lot of this will be covered up from um, my pictures and stuff, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just adding a little bit to the edges here and there. Give it a little something extra. Okay, I like that. I do have a little spot here, but it may get covered up. It's where the gesso was on there, and apparently whenever I flipped it over onto my mat to hold it down to dry flat, it picked up a little bit of color from whatever. Okay, so then my next thing was I wanted to use this stencil and go in. They use more like a hexagon or they may have, since it was for Vicki Booten, it may have been one of, like, the pre-made papers that she already has. That's kind of what it looks like. But if not, they use, like, a hexagon stencil and just added some in. But we're just going to keep it, like, over in here. Um, but I think I'm going to go in with this um, saltwater taffy and then the dried marigold and just add some stenciling for it. And I'm hoping it doesn't mix too much with the colors. That's why I wanted to get it dry. So this will kind of set, um, set on top. But I don't know because I've never really, I don't know, like I said, I don't, I've never done this. And I don't really play around with it enough. I just do the basics to get by pretty much um so i may actually go in with the other stencil i already used the stars one and do it in the dried marigold just so there's some i can't talk some color differing whatever so the colors will be different <laughs> one of them days y'all i'm trying to play catch up on my videos life's just been crazy and i've got behind and so much for being two weeks ahead i'm filming day before right now but i'm trying to at least get this weekend's done um we have spring break coming up for my kiddos and 
I don't know if we're going to take a trip this year or not. We have a lot of doctor's appointments to go to, but I'm really, really, really wanting to go to, um, on a little road trip, not far away, um, to this place called Callaway Gardens in Georgia. All of their tulips are bloomed right now, and it is stunning from what I've seen online. I've never been there, but I've had lots of friends, um, go and call and show pictures and all that but i don't know if my family would actually be up for <laughs> to go and see flowers because they're not as interested as me you know but um I, I would love it i would love it so much so i'm hoping you know i can talk them into it we'll see what happens let's see Ooh, i kind of do like that Okay, let's just add a little bit here and there. Oh, that, that shows up really good. Really, really good. I probably should have did a little bit of the pink circles over on the side just to help pull it in also. Okay, let's go back and do that. That one's easy to do with this, so having it on a dauber. I don't want to go crazy. I just want it to lightly show. Voila. I really like it. Okay. So now we've done all of our stenciling in three different colors. Um, the next thing is, is splatters. So, I did pull out this turquoise um, Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray, and I think I will use some of it to put some splatters on, and I don't know, maybe just use some of the ink and water it down and splatter it on, and see how it looks. I feel like this is going to be like really, yep, really blue, um, so... Either way, I just want to keep everything to this one side, kind of in the middle, um, like they did. I really, really love this inspiration layout. So, I would like to be able to try it with smaller photos. I'm still trying to talk my husband into buying me a printer. Because um, right now I print on Walmart.com which I like it, but I scrapbook four by six pictures and I have to cut them down. But I know as a person, I tend to <laughs> take pictures more up close. So it makes it very hard to, to you know, crop them down to be able to um, make them smaller to you. Okay, so, okay, whiskers, I don't know what that was about, but... You all right, buddy? All right, so I think I'm just going to water this down for the other splatters. And then I'm just going to use a paintbrush like I normally do. And just tap it in. I want some bigger, bigger splatters too, so. And, um, I like to watch City Scrapper, Laura. Um, you know, depending on where you tap your, um, brush at, depends on how big of splatters you get. So, like I said, it's really just about playing. If you just have time to just go in and play and, um, experiment you can do all kinds of things you know mixed media is really not scary um it's a little intimidating to me to see some of the stuff that people create but i love to keep trying and um you know there's only been a few times that it's turned out ugh, where i was like yeah i really don't like that um but i really do like this I'm just wondering if I should add some black splatters now. Y'all know I, I get carried away with the splattering. <laughs> okay, 
so it's still drying it'll take it a minute but i thought i would lay out my pictures kind of like she did back and forth and add it in and i don't know i feel like i went too light on the background now that i'm holding these up beside it but it's okay like i said i wanted the pictures to be the star of the show and not the background because they're just so overwhelming in color now could i have done it different totally did i no <laughs> but i'm just gonna glue these down and we're just gonna i'm just gonna be happy with it um all right so then i'm gonna add this in i think i'm gonna make mine uh, a little cockeyed look at all the pollen on the butterfly they were so pretty, like so pretty. I love all the butterflies and the bees in the garden. Like I said, I have lots of up close pictures. This one's a bee, but the bee's a little blurry and the flowers in focus. But this one has a bee and this one has a butterfly. And I like to take pictures up close of them just at work in the garden. I love this because it, like the yellow shows through where the light was shining through like I took it from underneath of the flower and I love my flowers and it's almost time to get planting again I cannot wait cannot wait I'm in much better health this year to actually get out there and work so I am excited about that okay Let's see what we want to do with this. I have, I pulled out some stuff. I thought I could use a title that says Inspire Happiness. I don't know if I like that. Maybe here. Um, I don't know. I also have this one that says Full Bloom, Be Happy, and Blue Skies and Sunshine. Um, we definitely have blue skies and sunshine, but I don't know. I really keep coming back to this one just because it's bigger. At least the Inspire. Let's do it. And I do like to add a little glue to these because they just, they, they don't stick good. So, I just add on a little bit to them. Okay. And I think I'm going to put it right here. Do I want it over the picture or below it? Let's just go here. That way the black don't get lost in the picture. And my page is a little bit wrinkled. Y'all know I don't like that. Um, I may, after I get it done, spray the back a little bit. And then uh, you just lightly mist it with water. And then um, just put something heavy on it and let it dry. And it'll, it'll dry flat. Or if you have a laminator, you can totally run it through the laminator. And um, I think I am going to use this one. And it can, um, without, of course, the lamination, and it'll flatten it out for you. Laura says that's what she does. I love her. She is, like, my inspiration. I channel my inner Laura CD scrapper. <laughs> I'll have to link her video below. I absolutely love watching her. I don't think she's ever made a bad page. <laughs> Not one that I've seen anyways. I love them. Okay. I think I'm just going to add these butterflies in um, as my embellishments, and then I'm just going to call it good. Um, do I want it here? Here, here. I kind of want something up top. Maybe I'll add some... Um, I think I want to do them like this. Um... Maybe I should put some foam tape on the wings so they'll stay popped up after they get in the album. I'll just add a little bit. Um, maybe I'll add some sequins or, or something to 
helping her pulling it together. Y'all know I'm not good at minimalism. <laughs> I like to add more. My my philosophy is more is more is more. Um, I like to keep building stuff. But I have to say I am happy with how the background came out. Did not use any pattern paper at all, which is shocking because anybody that knows me knows I love my pattern paper. <laughs> Okay, let's put this one here, and then we'll do this one. I'm just adding little pieces of foam tape on the wings and then adding a little glue in the center to hold it down. I think this one was right here because I pulled some of the blue up. Okay. I really, really, really like that. Okay. I think I may add some sequins in and I'll do that off camera because I'll have to get up and uh, get them and all that stuff. Um, I'll link below um, the Mixed Media Mayhem Info Facebook group. Each week there's a different uh, challenge issued. I think all of March, it's all um, scrap lift inspirations. So, um, you guys can come over and check that out and play along. And try your hand at mixed media if you have it. Don't be scared. Just play. As Vicki Booten likes to say, it's just pay a piece of paper in your time. So, you know, you can play with paint, your inks, all kinds of stuff. Even if you don't have all the mixed media things, um... You know, if even if you don't have stencils, I used to not have any stencils. I had zero. And I just took my little cutouts from Cricut and made my own stencils. Like this is just, I'll show you an example. This is a piece of scrap laying on my table. But this is from the little mice that I did with the shamrock. And this was for his face. But you could totally make a design or anything and just use this part as a stencil. And y'all saw me do that before where I cut out hearts and all that and made my own stencil you know um most of us have inks regardless of the color you can totally play with those add water don't add water you know um try just try different techniques um paint a lot of us have acrylic paint because we like to dabble in other crafts you can totally use that water it down um and play with it uh, watercolors. I mean, it's unlimited on the things that you can do. You can take household items and use it as a stencil or a stamp um, with your mixed media. So don't be afraid to try new things. Um, it's always fun and you can always, you know, create your own background. Let me see if I can show it. It shows up a little bit better up here. Um, but I will post close-ups at the end and until next time. Bye, y'all.